The nation's top Democrat says he is confident now the party can win the governor's race here despite a 24-year dry spell. DNC Chairman Tim Kaine made that prediction at a stop today in Minneapolis, and we get more on the story from Carol Evans, John Croman. Tim Kaine, a former Virginia governor and St. Paul native, was here in his role as chairman of the Democratic National Committee. He said he has high hopes that Mark Dayton will become the first Dem to capture the governor's office here since 1986. Well, frankly, uh, the numbers here look pretty good. As we're looking at polls, we feel pretty good about the polls and where things are. Uh, we also feel very, very good about the energy, the energetic uh, turnout of the Democrats at the uh, uh, at the primary. The latest NPR Humphrey Institute poll shows Tom Emmer is dead even with Dayton, and Republicans are claiming momentum. This is a neck and neck race, this is a foot race, and what you've seen in your poll, NPR's poll, and other polls is our base is energized, our base is excited. Kane couldn't resist weighing in on Governor Pawlenty's decision to turn down millions of dollars in federal medical assistance and planning grants because they're connected to health care reform. Why you'd want to turn down monies that might have come from Minnesota taxpayers and let the taxpayers of Iowa and New Hampshire get the monies, I can't figure. Or maybe I can figure. Kane said Dayton, by contrast, will put common sense ahead of ideology, which sparked a familiar complaint from the opposition. He was a self-identified failure as a United States Senator. He shut his office down. Time Magazine called him one of the worst United States Senators. Despite President Obama's sinking approval ratings, he's most likely going to be at center stage again in 2012. The question remains, will that stage be in Minneapolis or one of the other convention finalists, St. Louis, Cleveland, and Charlotte? And the cities that are finalists are there because they've gotten over all the bars in terms of logistics and desire and enthusiasm. Uh, but uh, Minneapolis has put on a real good, uh, made a real good case. In Minneapolis, John Croman, Care 11 News. All three candidates, Tom Emmer, Mark Dayton, and Tom Horner, will debate Friday at the State Fair, and Governor Pawlenty will defend his stance on those health care dollars tonight on the Fox News.